okay I'm here. Why did you drag me out of the house we both live in? What, did you want to discuss something? Do you have what is the that? answer to my ransom note? I know what you did. Leave the ill-gotten gains on the Elm Street Pier at 1 p.m. and it all goes away. 105, I call the cops. <laughs> wow. Looks like the blackmailer has become a blackmail. Hey, don't count me out yet. I'm going to make whoever sent me this letter start that they ever decided to mess with me. Tracy likes to be hands-on, especially when it comes to my dad. What Edward would show up and put him in Fine, let's, let's say that you're right. And either one of them or both of them or, or whoever actually does show up. What are you going to do? Are you going to pull a citizen's arrest? You don't want to steal the cash in the first place, little Miss Quick Hand. How are they supposed to prove it? Okay, I'll threaten to call the cops and accuse the blackmailer of robbing the casino. Good plan, Cupcake. That's very good. Usually the best defense is a strong offense. I'd say nine out of ten times. Unfortunately for you... You're in that 1% category since you are now busted. Nice job. Sorry. I'll take the real money now. Okay, how'd you know it was Lulu and why'd you take so long to do something about it? Well, speaking for myself, I like an inquiring mind. I knew almost straight away that Lucas here had staged his own robbery. Then Lula disappears during police questioning, so I figured something really had to be up. All of a sudden, a ransom note turns up. So I got to understand that Lula has intercepted the money. Why Daddy over here didn't figure that out right away is beyond me. Approaching Alzheimer's, perhaps. I knew soon enough. Okay, yeah, but why did you wait? Well, I wanted to give my daughter time to run her scam. That's the only way you learn. See, your big mistake was not pocketing the money. As soon as you sent that ransom note, you gave yourself away. Mm, whatever was I thinking, next time I'll be sure to do better. Good, I hope you do. Go ahead. Well, you know, all in all, not a bad effort on her part. I mean, her approach was a little clumsy in the end, but her instincts are really good. I think that it was a very fine first effort. For one of the smartest guys I know, there are times you can be just such a bloody idiot. You didn't have to come after me. Can I buy a Sunday cookies coke? I'm not six years old. Sunday's cookies and coke are not going to make me feel better. Okay, well, what will? I don't know. Maybe a brain in my stupid head? I mean, I can come up with the biggest scam in the world or win the Nobel Peace Prize. It doesn't matter. Look, Unless my life is at stake. My look, dad doesn't give a damn look, about me. Your dad does give a damn about you. And you know that. Underneath all the hurt, you know that. His way of expressing himself, yeah, it leaves a lot to be desired, but that's how he is. So you're saying that I need to make the adjustment? Something tells me if you want Luke in your life, yeah. Well, at least I've gotten to know him through this process, which has been very frustrating. And along the way, I've gotten to know you, which is a plus. 